Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Thursday. All right, guys, so as you know, this is a sad week. We didn't get the Real Housewives of New Jersey, but we did get a new episode of the Real Housewives of Orange County. And of course, we will be back to talk about that today at 1 p.m. Eastern with Ricky Cornish. Now, in the meantime, it's so funny because we keep on talking about the Real Housewives of New Jersey ever since they wrapped the reunion. And it's like, somebody's caught off guard. Somebody did something. No, their name's been cleared. For example, like, the whole FUDA situation with Louis allegedly hiring somebody to contact his ex who is in a facility that got debunked by the U.S. Sun. So from there, Melissa and Joe being the ones who allegedly called the FBI on Teresa Judice and Joe Judice that got debunked by Kim G. So now there's more things coming out. And it's when you think that you can actually you're like, oh, maybe this person is good. Then there's DMs that got leaked. Well, we're back to talk about those DMs. So before we jump into all of it, make sure you smash that like button, show some love, and let's do the damn thing. It's time for all your binge-worthy pop culture news. Welcome to Up and Adam. All right, so before we get into the messiness of it i at least want to have like a breath of fresh air and that breath of fresh air usually is jen fessler so let's play an audio clip from her really quick here we go i'm not a housewife as you both know i am a friend of a housewife. you are a house so if they do an ultimate hearts. girls trip friends edition plus <laughs> ones yes <laughs> honestly that would be so great oh my god that would be so great it could be I love you her. and jackie i would even include marlo because she was they're so good so friends so years. wasn't wait oh marisol marisol, marisol. Oh, oh my, wait, you and marisol god. Armstrong? Oh, oh my god wait this is great that that is so get, i want to get paid for this this might be I, a, your actual I, I, no yeah. this came from i love how excited they are this is your idea the reason that i'm at this particular festival i am creative I love that. I love it. Well, we. Okay, so I'm going to stop it here. But I really do like her. I think she's a breath of fresh air. And I could totally see her coming in next season as a full time housewife because we don't know what the dynamics are going to look like with the other housewives. We've heard going into the new season that because there's such a. There's an awkwardness between the cast. It's a cast divided for sure. On one side, you have Melissa Gorga, Margaret Josephs, Rachel Fuda, Jackie Goldschneider and Jen Fessler, and then on the, well, you have Dolores in the middle. And then on the other side, you have Jennifer Aiden, Teresa Judice, and Danielle Cabral. So it's such an awkward cast divided that the rumor was that they're either going to start promoting some of the friend, friends or they're going to start demoting some of the housewives. There's even been firing rumors, but if you think about it for like Potomac, Candace was going to be fired for years. Robin was going to be fired for years. That's what they always said. If you think about Beverly Hills, like we heard Dorit was going to be fired for a while. Erica never happened. So you actually never know what's going to happen. But let's get into the messy text messages because I know that's what everybody's here for. Thank you to Reality Blurb for giving us another good one. Louis Ruelas is being accused of making intimidating statements to a Bravo fan page and shading Margaret Josephs as a pig in the process. This is what I'm saying. It's like just when you want to throw the guy a bone and be like, look, there's so many red flags, but there are a few people who say how great they think you are and what a good person you are. And then you're like, oh, okay, wow, you got your name cleared by the U.S. Sun. You didn't hire anybody to look into Brittany Mosh. What is John Fuda talking about? And then you had DMs slamming Margaret Josephs as a pig. Okay. After seemingly making threats to some of his Real Housewives of New Jersey castmates during the recently concluded reunion, a series of leaked DMs have shown that Louis allegedly attempted to get information about Margaret and slammed her as a pig. Okay, here are the text messages. You better off doing good out there in the world. Try it. You may feel better while wearing those sunglasses you bought with the bribe money you got from that pig. That's what Louis wrote in his first message, as seen in screenshots shared from Thea de Sousa at Your Moms Are Watching on Instagram. Then in two more messages sent to Thea on the same day, Louis encouraged the woman to be a good person and insisted that anything that suggests that he and his wife Teresa aren't good people, well, that would be false. It's so weird, too, to me. 
And I learned this at BravoCon because I had a husband from Orange County walk up to me. I had a husband from New Jersey. I even had a husband from Potomac. I had a few husbands that I spoke to. And one of the husbands said, hey, listen, I just want to let you know, like, I'm always in your live chats. I never, you know, show face or anything, but I'm always watching, trying to see like what you guys are saying about the new seasons and what you're saying about my wife. So the husbands really are involved. But I think when it comes to moments like this, like this is just social media stuff that if you don't let it affect you and you kind of take yourself out of it, then you're not going to look like you're calling women pigs. Louis, Louis is a smart guy. This one's an easy, it's a no brainer. But hold on. Then in two more messages sent at the on the same day, Louis encouraged the woman to be a good person. Just be a good person because our good people, everything else is manufactured. And another, he seemed to be getting a little bit more upset with the woman questioning her about why she's putting something negative out about him and Teresa. Oh, this is awkward. Why did you put that out there about Teresa and I? Between you and me and the four walls, did Margaret ask you to do it? The way you explained this and came at us is something Margaret would do. Did she put you up to it in any way? Please be honest. I have a life and I'm busy. I just want to know for myself. All right. So after receiving the messages in her DMs, she then shared an additional post explaining why the messages came out. Okay. This is what was said. Sorry, I didn't post much today. I've been laying low because I'm a little freaked out. I got this DM last night from Louie. He's referring to the fact that Marge once sent me a gift card to thank me for helping her. I bought sunglasses with it. It wasn't a bribe. It was a thank you. I have posted about her gift. I'm not hiding it. I have never heard from Louie before yesterday. I felt like this was strange and intimidating. I'm sharing because I feel like it protects me if you all know. Oh. I mean, even the pig comment. Ugh. And for those wondering where Louis' blue check mark is in the screenshots and questioning if the screenshots could be fake, a Twitter user has shared why the verification logo may not have been present. And they actually did share this. And I want to post share this really quick with you guys because this was on Twitter. So hold on, let me bring this up really quick. They put Spot with the madness. Louis' account has a blue check. The images in the white box are clearly fake when you message him, there is no behind his name. The third image shows what it looks like when you send a message. Notice the blue check mark is still there. And Chadwick wrote, his name is cut off, truncated, which is why it shows the ellipses. That can happen because of a user's size settings and because of all the icons at the top. And then this person wrote, there are multiple errors on the images. The boxes are missing corners. If you zoom in, lines have different thicknesses. Babe, it's fake as hell. Oof. Okay, guys, I want to hear what your thoughts are. So go ahead and comment below. Let us know what you think. And more importantly, before you go, don't forget to, well, go to the comment section, click on the link, and join us for the Real Housewives of Orange County recap today at 1 p.m. Eastern with Ricky Cornish. Love you guys. See you next time.